So before I start the video, I'd just like to ask everyone to please take a second to click on the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, leave a comment below, even if it's a bad comment. Bad comments better than no comment. So this is the Bionic LED uh, light strip. Uh, looks like it's multicolored. Comes with a little remote control. Uh, this is not Wi-Fi or smart in any way, shape, or form. So this is basically just a USB plug-in and a remote control. And we're going to open it up and see how it is set up, see how it looks. So the applications are showing our home, entertainment, bedroom, auto. Probably use it for just about anything you want to light up. Uh, back of your computer screen. Um, under the bed, over the bed. Cabinet lighting. The thing of it is, is without constant power, like in your vehicle, it's going to be a pain in the butt if you have to plug this into like a cigarette lighter or into a USB charging station have the key on to actually turn on the lights. So that's all we have inside. We've got a controller or plug-in, uh, the square boxes for the remote controller to uh, send access to. It's a really short USB cable. Um, this would be good if you're plugging it in behind the TV or maybe in a car. Uh, but it doesn't give you a lot of room to actually move it around anywhere. It's got the LED light strip, remote control. The battery has a little plastic piece in, so we're going to pull that out to activate the battery. So that'll be ready to go. And the instruction manual, which is pretty short and sweet. Basically, it looks like plug it in, uh, clean the surface, remove the backing film, stick it on whatever you want. So I'm not going to leave this on my TV, most likely, just because I don't know that I like that look. But on the back of your TV, almost every TV now has at least one, if not two, USB ports. Uh, something else a lot of people might not know is your Fire Stick or your Roku Stick will plug into that port. You don't need that charging block on the back of 99% of them. Some of the older TVs don't have enough power to run it, but for the most part, most TVs have enough power to run your Fire Stick. Fire Stick will come up and say this is not an official Fire Stick charging block. You want to continue? You hit yes and move along. So I'm going to plug my lights into that second USB port that I've got in the back of the TV open. So I've got USB port in. And then that's the connector for my lights. I'm not sure what the other connector is for unless it's a different um, interface for another product they probably sell would be my guess. Again, I'm just going to wrap this around the back of the TV. If you wanted to attach it, you would pull the adhesive off. I'm not going to pull the adhesive off because I'm not going to leave it there. Now when you're plugging this in, there's a little small arrow on both sides of it. So the arrows obviously line up. Maybe. Okay, so I've just got it loosely wrapped around the back of the TV. I stuck some tape in a couple places just to kind of hold it up there. The remote control... I'll put some light on here in a minute. Uh, I want to keep it dark so you can see the light on the TV. But basically where the on button is, you have to aim this. It is an infrared. So when you push on, you have to aim it. Now right now it's in music mode. So it's picking up my voice. So every time I talk, it flickers. If you put it in music mode too, the light stays off until the music hits. Music mode one, light stays on until the music hits. Looks like there's a fade mode, just kind of fades in and out. Um, there's a red, green, blue, purple, so you can just pick the color you want. Um, there's a dim, so you can dim it down if you want to dim it. Again, this is going to be hard for me to remember. you got to point it at that box. Uh, to me, that would be aggravating. I'm not sure that I could use that. I'd have to find a certain place for it. Um, white light. Uh, I'm not sure what that does. Jump. It just jumps from color to color. Uh, music mode. It's probably going to be pretty interesting because it's probably, if you're watching a music video on the TV, it would probably bounce around. So I'm not sure that I'll get blocked for the following in reverse, but I figure that's probably a good chance that I won't get blocked for that. But as you can see, it definitely... So I guess that could kind of be cool, but again, not sure that this is the product for me, but it is inexpensive. I'll put a link in the description below. I think I bought this at Lowe's. I'll say 20 bucks. So that's basically the Bionic LED light setup. Again, pretty simple. It's not Wi-Fi. It's just an infrared, so uh, maybe pretty cool around your computer, around the TV, if you want to do something funky like I just did. Uh, 
Again, the little block is going to have to be exposed, so your infrared remote can point at it. you got to point it directly at it. Um, overall, I mean, it's okay for the price I paid for it.